Welcome to Outside the Box. I'm Sunny Megatron. And I'm Sunny's co-host and partner in crime, Ken Melvoin Berg. And today we're going to talk about lube, glorious lube. There are a bunch of water-based lubricants on the table in front of us. Now, when it comes to sex, you got to have lube. A lot of people think that lube is for women who are dry, you know, they're dried up little raisins and prunes, <laughs> and that is not the case. For a woman, your moisture level depends on how hydrated you are, where you are in your cycle, what medications you're on. There's lots of reasons that you may need lube that has nothing to do with how sexual you are, how great you are, how healthy you are. Also, lube just kind of makes everything better when it comes to sex. Water-based lubes are the type of lubes that you usually can find at any drugstore. Most of us have probably used them. They are by far the most popular. But aside from what you find on the drugstore shelf, there's a ton of other lubes to choose from. Ken and I had the very difficult task of testing every single one of these lubes. Our job is horrible, isn't it? It can be sometimes. Right. We had a lot of fun testing these lubes, and we're going to tell you what we like and what we don't like when it comes to water-based. Now, when it comes to water-based lubes, first of all, they are the most versatile. You can use them with any kind of condom, whether it's latex or latex-free. You can use them with any kind of toy, no matter the material, silicone, not silicone, etc. They don't stain your sheets, and they easily wash off with just a little bit of water. That brings us to the big highlight. This was our new the favorite highlight of, all lubes. of testing these lubes is for the very first time we discovered the Wicked line and it is absolutely amazing. I was blown away. First of all, we have these, they have a couple of flavored lubes. Here we have candy apple and we have pomegranate. They taste Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. They actually use stevia, a natural sweetener, to sweeten these lubes, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, you want to talk a little bit more about the ingredient list? Sure. Uh, the ingredient list done here. Now, first of all, there's a couple of things that I wanted to talk about. Uh, water is actually the first ingredient on here, whereas most of the cheaper brands, glycerin will almost always be the first ingredient. Glycerin, and this is the second ingredient, meaning that there is more water to it, and that actually makes a big difference. Uh, then we have cellulose gum, but then this is the big one, uh, stevia extract, and that lowers not only the carb count that you're going to get from this one because... You want to have your sex to be diet, you know, yeah, low totally. carb, fuck it. And that's why yeah. you know, one of the things that Sonny the is Semen is also with, yeah, low carb. Semen is yeah. low carb. 10 to 30 calories. 20 to 30. 20 to 30 calories. 20, yeah, 20 to 30 calories per tablespoon. Yeah in case you needed to know that. So, uh, but okay. this has stevia in it, it has olive leaf extract, citric acid, sodium benzoate, and uh, potassium sorbate, plus the flavoring, which actually the, uh, the pomegranate is actually my favorite of the two, the candy apple is my second favorite. Both of these are really good for oral. It's also good, I actually use them for my male masturbators. Uh, they were amazing. Uh, as far as water-based lubes, that's the top. Now, this one is a water-based anal lubricant. Yeah. My favorite anal. Yeah, anal, anal's a lot of fun. We, we like anal here. We endorse it very heavily. Um, but this is a great product. It's very thick. A lot of padding for anal. If you have a little bit of, you know, discomfort, mm -hmm. this helps a lot. Um, also, this is glycerin-free. So, you can put this in the front door, ladies, which I find fabulous for G-spotting, for fisting. If you want something really thick, this is versatile. You can pretty much use it on anything. So Wicked, I love you. By the way, both of these others are paraben-free, and one of the important things that is different from some of the other ones, these are all vegan. Uh, so if you are hippie woo-woo and you do like that sort of thing, and the packaging is recycled, so if you don't want to leave a big carbon footprint and you're really concerned about the ethics of how the packaging is, they really went over the top, And but the, uh, the Wicked was a huge surprise and we were both thumbs up on the Wicked. So when it comes to lube, go out and get yourself some. If you haven't tried lube, you don't know what you're missing. Spit is not lube. I know it isn't porn and it looks really hot, but it's not in real life. And our final word is, out of all the water-based lubes we tried, a lot of them were great. However, the winner for us is absolutely the Wicked line. Check it out.